Hello and welcome back to Behind the Wheel. Um, today I'm going to be installing the Miso Customs Dome Light. This is the dual color for the Forerunner fifth generation. And what it is is it has a white LED lights when you turn it on and off. And then you press this button right here and then you have red lights. So why would you want red lights on your dome lights? Well, it's simple. Um, red lights um, allow there to be light inside the cabin, but it doesn't interfere or mess up with your um, vision at night. So whereas if you had a white LEDs and you turn on the lights, your eyes will take a while to adjust back to a night scenario, whereas red won't uh, interfere with that that much. It all has to do with the spectrum. Uh, I'm not a, a nerd on that part, but I know it works. Um, I went with this one because it's all uh, it's versatile. You know, you have that option to turn it on and off. And um, well, it was there. And the other one, I think, was was sold out. So I had to get it anyways. Um, I've heard that this also works with fourth generation uh, forerunners. Um, so if you are in the uh, fence of getting this for your fourth generation, I've heard it works also. All right. First, let's do a little bit of an unboxing here. Um, they do send you this, uh, American flag, uh, sticker. It looks really nice. And then this is really hard to get one hand, but not really. Here you go. You open up this tab right here. It comes off. It's clear. Um, really cool. And then here is the, the main item, the dome light. And then you pull it out. And then um, you can see the front is basically matches with the interior. And then on the back, you have your uh, your board with the light adapter here. The, it looks like the actual light that goes in there, but instead it has wires going to the chip. Um, it looks really nice. Um and then you have the Miso Customs branding right there. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over how to remove the um, the one that's already up there. This is a real simple thing. I've is I, I seen it done. I just didn't see it for the Forerunner. Or if it is up there, somebody doesn't have it. So whereas when you search it, it comes up. All I see is the Tacomas and all that. All right. So here we go. So this is your dome light up here. Um, let me get all this sorted out right here real quick. I'm sorry. All right. So first off, uh, make sure you have it on the off position, right? You do not want to do this when it's in the on position. Uh, you have some little tabs right here, uh, where you could go and put in your, your screwdriver, a, th a really thin one, and then just pop it out like that. And then on the side over here, there's another one. This is really awkward doing with one hand. All right, there you go. And then you just pull this lens off, right? Here's the lens, put that to the side. And then here's the light bulb. And then, uh, I might need my other arm. This one. Oh, my screwdriver just went into the abyss of no return. Oh, geez. Oh, there it's out. All right, let me put this right here. All right. I know I shouldn't be sticking this up in there, but I, I have, for instructional purposes, I only have one hand right now. So, all right, there you go, it's out. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, so now we're gonna be installing the little LED bulb. I wish I had two, my two hands to do this, but again, this is probably gonna be a bit awkward right here. There you go. All right, that looks like it's in. And there you go. And that's the light right there. And um, 
press it, it goes red. Press it, it goes white. Now let's uh, turn it back off. And then let's make sure that that light is in there, connector. And then it is. Whew, all right. One-handed, this is not a good thing to do. All right, and then you just push it back in there. So make sure the tabs that go right there, you see those? They go in first, you slide it in there, and then you push it back up, maybe. There it is, my bad. There it is, now it's flush. And I'm gonna do a uh, before and after. And then um, here it is. When you open up the doors, oh, I have the child locks on, whoops. Anyways, and here it is on, nice and bright. And then here it goes, red, that looks really cool. And then um, let's see if it stays red, it does stay red. You press it, it's white, and it does stay white. So you, you won't have one of those, um, times when you turn on the lights and you need it red and it's actually white um it won't happen that won't happen all right um this is it for day i might do a video on night and uh show you how it looks at night i'm just gonna post this uh, right after i uh edit it and upload it so um hopefully you like this um i think it's really cool it gives the interior of the car a, an upgraded look rather than having those yellowish looking bulbs. And, um, ah, here we go. And here is a quick look at the old one. Nothing too fancy right here. And the, uh, the screwdriver that I was using, it's a flathead. Again, I wouldn't suggest you putting your screwdriver into connectors, but like I said, I only have one arm, one hand to use. And it was quite difficult. So there you have it. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please uh, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't leave a thumbs down. Just keep scrolling. And, uh, you know, I will try to keep coming um, up with some more videos for the future. But uh, for now, this is all I got. Again. Thanks for watching and have a good day.